What's up guys? Mardi Gras Man 23 here and today I have got a Lego haul from Target. And this is a clearance run. Now what I did was two weeks ago, I guess, they you know they marked down their stuff on Thursdays. So I went and nothing was marked down. Not a set, not a clearance sticker on the whole aisle. <clears throat> so I checked the friends aisle and there was one, maybe two sets on the clearance aisle. I mean on the friends aisle that had a clearance sticker. So I was a little disappointed but I figured maybe next week which was last week. So last week I go back and still nothing. Very surprising. I don't know what was going on but my target usually goes right to 50% off. Most of the time they skip the 30. So I thought maybe the time they didn't mark it down it was 30 and they'd go right to 50. Still nothing. So I saw some hauls, some, some sets some people were getting so I decided to go back on Sunday and check some of the prices even though they weren't stickered and a lot of the sets were on clearance with no stickers so I decided to play little game I guess you would call it like Russian roulette I just let them sit on the shelf I figured maybe maybe they'll make it till Thursday maybe they'll go deeper 60 or 70 percent off and the ones that were 30 because some of them were 30 would make it to 50 and maybe they'd sticker them. And if they didn't sticker them, who's going to buy them? Because who's going to know? So I went back this past Thursday. And lo and behold, I guess about half of them were stickered. Um, so I bought most of the ones that were stickered that I wanted. They were all, all of these were at least 50% off. Um, one of them wasn't stickered and I could have waited. They actually had three two weeks ago. When I went back, there was only two. They were still at 50% off, but I really wanted them, so I decided to get those. I left some of the bigger sets. They had the airports for 50% off, which was around 50 bucks. That's a $99 set. But they had three of them when they started. They've only sold one. No red stickers. Still no red stickers, so who knows? If they're there next week and they go deeper than 50% than off, or they put a red sticker on them, maybe I'll pick them up. So let's see what we got, guys. The first thing we got is a set for myself. And this is, let's see, let me back this camera up. This is set 60025. This is the Grand Prix truck. And it was regular $25.99. It was on sale half off for $12.98. And I really like this truck. I'm not so much a fan of the car. I'll take the minifigures. I'll part them out maybe. But I'm going to keep this truck. I'm actually going to take this side door that opens up and just try to make it, you know, a regular semi. It'll look good in the city one day. So they had two of them. So I decided to pick them both up. So I got those two right there. I'm going to need some more room, guys. Let's see if I can get all this in the shot. So the next thing I got was a set to part out, and it's this one. This is set 70400, the Forest Ambush, regular $11.99, half off, $5.98. It's kind of a castle battle pack. It's got four minifigures in there. It's got those tree leaves that those do really well in your Brickling store. So they had two of those, so I picked those two up. So I got those two. And then the next set is a Star Wars set. And this is 75003, the A-Wing Starfighter. And they had, uh, I think they had five or six of these. They were half off, 12 or 48, off of $24.99. I started to buy them all, but then I thought, I, you know, I like parting out in three, so they're half off. I just picked up three of them. So there's one, two... And there's one more. So there's three. So I got that. So then the next set I got. Let's see if I can get a little better view. So the next set I got was a movie set. And this was the only movie set that was on clearance. I've already parted some of these out. This is 70806, the Castle Cavalry. It was $14.98, regular price $29.99. I mean... We're still at the point now that I don't think you can go wrong with movie sets at half price. So I picked both of those up. So then I got this little set here. 
This is set 76008 Iron Man versus the Mandarin Ultimate Showdown. Regular price $12.99. It's on sale for $6.48. And there was a lot of these. At first I picked up three. Two. And three. And then I went back and I picked up one more. Right there. So I got four of those and I'll be parting out three of them. I don't know if I'm going to keep the fourth one or part the fourth one out or I don't know, maybe do a giveaway. Who knows? But the set that I was watching that I bought at half off that doesn't have a clearance sticker is this one. This is set 70403 Dragon Mountain. And I bought this set because I want that red dragon. And this was the one that they originally had three of them, no stickers. This was the one I was watching. They sold one, and so I decided, even though it didn't have any stickers, I wanted to go ahead and pick it up so I make sure I got a dragon. And since I got one, I figured why not corner the market and get them both. They had two left, so I bought them both. So that's my haul, guys. I got two of these Kessel Dragon Mountains. I've got four of these Iron Man Ultimate Showdowns. I've got two of the Grand Prix trucks in the back. I've got two of the what is that? The Castle Cavalry movie set. And I've got three of the Star Wars A-Wing fighter right over there. So that's my haul guys. I will be parting out most of these. If you see something you like, if you want something Send me a message. I'll try to get it in the store. I got a busy week coming up. I don't know if I'm going to get to anything next week, but hopefully the week after I'll get some of this in the store. So that's it, guys. Tell me what you think. Which set you think I should part out first? Which one you think? Which one you like best? So that's it for this haul, guys. This was a clearance run at Target. Everything was 50% off. So be sure to check out my other videos, guys. I've got a lot of playlists. I do hauls. I've got some mocks. Be sure to check them out. I've got some Pablos. If you want to see a Pablo, visit my BrickLink store, Mardi Gras Bricks. Make an order and shoot me a message and ask me to do a Pablo, and I'll film it. Um, and please give me a thumbs up and like the video. You could follow me on Instagram at Mardi Gras Man 23 And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.